So I have one question for Bills Mafia. Where was the home field advantage tonight? Like when I watched this game on TV, it was quiet. I don't know if it was the cold. I don't know if they didn't show it right on TV and maybe it was super loud there. I don't know, but it didn't feel like playoff atmosphere. Not from a Buffalo Bills perspective. From a Patriots perspective, it felt like a playoff game. Like they showed up and they knew this was a big game. They played like this was a playoff game. The crowd though was like not into the game for some reason. Every time they moved the camera towards the crowd, it seemed like they were nervous the entire game. And if you remember when the Colts played the Bucks, they didn't sit down the entire game. Colts fans were shouting from start to finish. When their team turned the ball over, they were a little quiet for a second, and then they rooted their defense on. Like, that was a crowd base or a fan base that understood they needed to help their team. It was quiet when the Patriots had the ball. And like I said, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was super loud and it just didn't show right on TV. Okay, maybe it was super cold. I don't know. But when you have home field advantage and you're playing at home, that's supposed to be like an extra man on the field. And it never felt like that. As a matter of fact, at one point during the game, I heard the announcer say, if they score right here, if Buffalo scores right here, the crowd is going to erupt. Like they are waiting for a reason to erupt. That's not what you're supposed to do when your team is literally playing for their playoff lives. Like that was a big game. As of today, right now, the Buffalo Bills are a seventh seed. They're a seventh seed. And their next game is in Tampa against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. A team that's on a three-game win streak, has the number one scoring offense in the NFL, and their defense over the last three games is really starting to play good. As a matter of fact, Tampa Bay's defense is in the top five in QB hits, you know, uh, top 10 QB pressure, top five QB sacks. Like, they have really started playing defense over the last three games especially now that Carlton Davis is back. And if they lose that game, they're out of the playoffs. Now, I'm not saying they can't get back in. Next week for Buffalo, that's a huge game. Huge game. Buffalo has put themselves in a really bad spot. By losing to New England, okay, this game, whoever lost this game, like if New England lost this game, they would have fallen to a fifth seat. And then they had Indy next week. They understood this. They knew they couldn't lose this game. They went into this game knowing they couldn't lose this game. I really thought that playing at home would give Buffalo an edge. And after watching the game, I was mistaken. Buffalo at home, it didn't give them any type of advantage whatsoever. That was a, a huge letdown, by the way. Buffalo's in a really bad spot. Okay, they have to beat Tampa next week or they're out of the playoffs. And, you know, you, you just can't do that. Somehow you're going to have to beat Tampa next week. And they are playing really, really good football right now. In this game, Mac Jones threw two completions, right? He threw three passes, completed two of them for 19 yards. If you would have told me before the game that Mac Jones was going to go two for three, and that New England was going to win this game, I would have said, you're crazy. I mean, not only is this a bad loss for Buffalo, but the way they lost, that is so deflating. I, I mean, imagine how that team feels in the locker room right now. They're looking up after coming off a phenomenal year, paying their quarterback 40-something million dollars a year. They thought they owned this division. And they look up today and they are a seventh seed. And they have the defending Super Bowl champions who they have to play in their house next week. And I can guarantee you, Tampa Bay fans, they're not going to sit for the entire game. They're not going to wait for their team to have some type of explosive play before they shout. They're going to be standing from start to finish, yelling at the top of their lungs, which is why. Tampa is undefeated at home this year.
they are undefeated at home. And, and, and last time I checked, they were averaging over 40 points a game at home. And, and that was before their defense really started playing good. Like over the last three games, players are coming back, right? SMB came back, uh, I believe four or five games ago. Carlton Davis came back this past game. Like they're slowly but surely getting healthy. Vita's back. He was gone for a couple of games. Like they're finally starting to play good. And now the Buffalo Bills have no choice but to somehow find a way to win that game or they will be out of the playoffs after next Sunday. Now, I'm not saying they don't have a chance to get back in if they lose to Tampa, but it's, this is such a bad loss for Buffalo, especially the way it went down, where a quarterback threw the ball three times. You knew they were running the ball. Everybody watching the game knew they were running the ball. And it took three quarters for Coach Sean McDermott to make an adjustment. It, it's mind-boggling. A defense that is currently ranked six against the run, they're allowing 96 yards per game. That's the Bills with their rank. Six against the run year to date, allowing less than 100 yards per game, gave up over 200 yards on the ground, 222 to be exact. Man, if you're a Bills fan and you watch this game at home, you must be so frustrated right now. The other thing is, why were the Bills so determined to run the ball? You had zero success running the ball until I think one time in the fourth quarter. To keep running the ball the way they did, let Josh Allen get his pass attempts in this game. It, it, I understand trying, but it didn't work. It was hard to put Josh Allen into a situation, right, where he didn't get any rhythm, and then it's, here, save us on third down. Here, save us on third down right? He needs to get a rhythm to feel the defense out, right? He needed more pass attempts, even if they're incompletions. That way he can see the defense, see what's going on, and then eventually figure it out by the fourth quarter. But it was like every time the Bills could score the ball, they would try and run the ball and almost rob him of a down, right? The one in particular that got me, first and 10 on New England's 14-yard line. First play, they run the ball. Did you really think, right, that, that you were going to run on that Patriots defense down by the end zone, right, where everyone can crowd the box? That would have been the perfect situation where you can use Josh Allen's legs, right? Roll him to the right. Roll him to the left. Roll a tight end to the right. Get him out in the flat. Get him some room to make a play. Like, it was so predictable. They're either going to hand the ball off and for some crazy reason, try and run it up the gut against one of the best defenses in football or have Josh Allen drop back and, and I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what he was doing. Josh Allen's a great quarterback, but I noticed under pressure, he takes his eyes off a of downfield. He doesn't keep his eyes downfield. And there are a few times there where I seen him miss receivers, especially on that last play. I'm forgetting the name, but he had someone down the middle, right? He, it was almost like he would panic, right? The pocket would start collapsing and he wants to run. And if he just stands tall in the pocket and takes an extra, you know, quarter of a second and just keeps his eyes up, the, 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 the pass was there. That's why I said they should have let Josh Allen throw the ball more once they realized they couldn't run the ball so he could get a feel for the game. You know, they kept putting him, you know, in these crazy third downs. Okay, save us right? It's hard as a quarterback when it's cold, you're not throwing the ball, right? You're going up against a really good defense and, and you don't get a chance to get a rhythm, right? Throw the ball. Even if they're incompletions, throw the ball. Have your quarterback be safe with the ball, right? Work a lot of short game, take your shots. That way your quarterback can develop a rhythm, right? And it seemed like they kind of figured things out just a little too late and now they're in a really, really, really bad situation. They are a seventh seed today. That could have been the Patriots. The Patriots could have been a fifth seed having to play Indy next week in Indy, right? And the Bu Buffalo Bills could have been in first place sitting pretty. Now it, it's the Patriots sitting atop, sitting pretty, and it's the Bills who are in trouble because they have dropped to a seventh seed. They got Tampa next week, and then they got New England again 
in New England. And I can guarantee you that fan base is going to be screaming at the top of their lungs for the entire game because they know when they're loud, it messes with the other team. This is such a disappointing loss for the Buffalo Bills. Hey everyone, thank you for watching SP Sports today. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. This way you are notified when we post new videos. Also, if you have a moment, leave a comment and check out our other videos.